Hey guys, it's Char from Charmade Crochet, back for another video. So, um, last video I showed you a couple, I showed you a couple of, uh, knitted items. Now that I've got the hang of knitting, um, I'm basically in the practice makes perfect mode, so all I want to do is knit, knit, knit. And while... I'm okay with like having that mindset and always wanting to be able to knit. I started this uh, crochet channel because, I mean, for 10 years I couldn't knit. I basically gave it up because I couldn't figure it out. And so I basically have deemed that for right now anyways, if I want to practice any new stitches or whatever, I would do it in either a hat or a scarf. And so, um, I will always have a hat or a scarf, um, on my needles, like cast on, I guess is the term. Anyways, um, before I get to knit happy, I wanted to show you a couple of whips that, um, I feel need to get done by November. Um, that is my deadline. And the reason is because I have... There's Christmas, and there's birthdays for me coming up. Um, and then, like, one is a summer project that should have gotten done, like, two months ago. Um, and one I would just like to have around for fall. So, um, timeline-wise, it's perfect to have it done by November. So I have a few projects that I wanted to show you so that, um, hopefully I can be held accountable for it and I think I want to segment this type of thing as a whiplash um, because I really do need to tackle these projects, these whips and yeah and it's basically based off of um, what Terry from Yarn Joy Podcast did which is um, Whip Wall Wednesday. Um, I can't seem to commit to any specific time frame um, in making videos, so I don't want to commit to that, but, um, so basically I don't want to make any promises I can't keep. So, that was a very long ramble, but I wanted to show you some stuff so that I can be held accountable, and for me, my deadline is November. So I got a month. All right. <clears throat> so the first one that I'm going to show you is another... That was my hook. It's a Looting House cardigan by Katie Peterson of KT and the Squid. Here is the pattern. On camera, it's way more pronounced, but it's actually very subtle on uh, like in real life. So it doesn't look nearly as splotched, I guess. Um, in real life, it kind of looks really nice. Anyways, um, so this is the Looting House cardigan. I am about halfway through this panel here. And so basically, I think I'm using a 5mm hook. Yeah, 5mm crochet hook. Um, and the yarn that I'm using is a new yarn that I found at Walmart. Um, it's a sugar and cream yarn, but it feels a lot like, it, it's not your kitchen cotton. It feels a lot more like um, what you would normally use. It, it feels like um, Hobby Lobby, I love this cotton. If you are here in the States and have a Hobby Lobby, that's what it feels like. Um, it just feels a lot nicer. Um, it doesn't feel like something that I would want to make a washcloth out of. Um, so, yeah. Um, this is a very lightweight and airy cardigan. And so I figured that it would be nice to have for the fall, have a light colored cardigan for the fall. So that is whip number one. Whip number two is... A skirt. This is 
a pineapple lace maxi skirt. The tutorial I'm using is by A New Crochet Designs. Um, I'll make sure to link it in the description box down below. She does a wonderful job making the, uh, doing the tutorial. Um, the yarn that I am using is a yarn that I got for myself for my birthday. It's an expensive yarn. <clears throat> it's called, the color is called Dance in the Dark, but it is, oh, here we go, My Melody. I heard it pronounced as Voltrum or um, Anu calls it Voltrum. I am, English is the only language I know, so I will pronounce it Voltrum. Um, anyways, and then, so much darker on the camera, um, but it's different shades of purple. It starts off with white and it uh, will fade into black with all the purples in between. Um, so yeah, this is a summer project that I really wanted to have done a while ago, but in July I made three crop top shirts out of lace weight yarn. Um, they're all you made using um, a two millimeter crochet hook. And that basically made me, like it garmented me out. I, I didn't, I started working on it because um, I made those shirts to go with this pattern. <laughs> And I just lost steam after I made those three because I made them more or less simultaneously. It was like one after the other. Um, and I did a video on all three of them to show them off. So yeah, I, I really would like to get this done. Um, if anything, to have it ready for spring uh, next year. And the yarn or the hook that I'm using, I believe is a three millimeter. 3.5 millimeter crochet hook <clears throat> and the yarn is 50% cotton 50% acrylic and this was the largest ball of yarn that I could find in that colorway and it was um, let's see, 19 or ply so I don't know how much that is in yardage because that they don't tell me um, so anyways that is whip number two. Whip number three is um, probably very familiar to you. It's another blanket um, done in the Allison Russell Crochet tutorial. She doesn't have a name for this stitch, um, but I'll make sure to link it in the description box down below because like I said, she doesn't have a name for this stitch. Um, I'm using a four millimeter crochet hook for this, <clears throat> and this is actually going to be a baby, like a toddler size blanket for my friend's son. Um, she asked for me to make her, make her son a open lacy, um, blanket because when he sleeps, he completely covers his head. Um, and having a lacy blanket will, um, at least let her know that he can breathe underneath it. So, um, that is where I'm at with this. I'm, I, th I think, I, la la la, I'm at ball, I finished ball three the other day. And after I'm done with my pink hat, I will get to working on ball four. <clears throat> and the yarn that I'm using is Softy Baby, 100% acrylic, 331 meters, 362 yards. <clears throat> it's a very thin yarn, um, and it feels nice. It's just, I've had that in my stash for such a long time that uh, having, a, ha, ha, bleh, having an excuse to use it makes me happy. So that is the third. Um, I have one more. All right, so the final project that I wanted to talk about, you'll probably not be able to see it 
on screen because the lighting is kind of is not showing up very well um, <clears throat> but I'll make sure to put a picture up so that way um, while I'm talking about it you'll you'll at least be able to see it um, but the yarn that I am using is Knit Picks Capretta Superwash uh, in the colorway Hemlock Heather. It is a rich evergreen color and it is 80% Superwash Merino, 10% Cashmere, and 10% Nylon. And it is so soft. Um, I have very sensitive skin and this is something that I would make a sweater out of. But it is also expensive. It's 50 grams, 230 yards for 50 grams. And I think it's like $8.99. So, <clears throat> um, would I make a sweater out of it? Yes. Can I make a sweater out of it for myself? Mm, that's debatable. Um, <laughs> I say that. However, I am making, I bought this yarn to specifically make something for a friend and it turns out that I have enough to make a sweater for that friend because this is her color um, and she does not have sensitive skin like I do but anyways the pattern is called the light touch pullover cardigan by Natasha Rabarge um, and it's a free pattern on Ravelry and on Knit Picks where I found the pattern um, um, not knit picks, we crochet. I am subscribed to their um, to their website, and so every now and then they uh, they give me a link to a free pattern, which is really nice because I actually really like that pullover. Or I like the look of it, and I think my fr my friend does too. I actually asked her about it. I think in March or April. Um, and she's probably forgotten all about it, so hopefully this will be a wonderful surprise for her. Um, but it's for her birthday, um, and her birthday is in the middle of November, so I just wanted to make sure that that, um, was taken care of. Um, and that's like 90% of the reason why I want all these projects done by November. Um... So yeah, those are all of my whips uh, for this whiplash number one video. Um, and I think um, I think as I finish the projects, I will update you as well, just so that um, I don't wait too long in talking about my projects. Um, so yeah, that's it for now. Um, until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye.